Uh, welcome to the JDC West 2015 Management Information Systems case presentation. Thank you to our judges, Nick Holbert Sue from EMCO, Brad Zimmer from Federated Co-ops Limited, Greg Hutch from ISM, Aftab Ahmed from Deloitte and Touche, uh, Nancy Smale from Stonefield Systems Group. Competitors will have a maximum of 20 minutes to present. Immediately following the presentation, judges will have a total of five minutes to ask presenters questions. The volunteer timekeeper will show time cards at various intervals to indicate the remaining time and will stop any speaker who exceeds the maximum limit. No questions, comments, cell phones or picture taking will be permitted from the audience at any time. The audience will only be permitted to applaud following the question and answer period. The audience is banned from any material that bears the name or symbol of a competing university. We ask the audience to exit the room immediately following the question and answer period. Competitors, you may begin when you are ready. Quest Designs. At your project, Tivoli Gardens, you have experienced an unexpected change in your target market. And as a result, you do not know how to respond to this. And in the future, this will affect your business. Hello, my name is Hua Ping, and with me today are my colleagues, Graham and Zach, and we are Connect Consulting. So your current situation is that you have experienced process inefficiencies and the inability to respond to these market changes. We have identified three key challenges that have contributed to your current situation. And our recommendation today of Quest Connect, a process that will improve your process, your data strategy and responsive capabilities will allow you to achieve excellence by com communicating and con connecting the employees within your organization. So with the current situation in mind, your goal today is to be able to in create an immediate response plan that will allow you to establish the processes for this responsive nature that you seek. So on to the first key issue that we have identified. It is project management. So your current project management is very dispersed. There is lots of communication that occurs around 50 emails a day and this not only occurs through emails but through text and through many different types of communication. As a result, there is lots of documentation that takes place as well. And you have allowed workarounds. So you have mentioned that in your previous um, implementation of a project management solution, you have allowed workarounds that individuals are allowed to use Excel, allowed to use Word, rather than using the intended solution. And employees have not used this, um, the project management solution in the past. So employees overall have a high workload and a lack of established processes did not buy into the new technology that you implemented previously. So overall, the lack of processes will impact your ability to scale your organization. Second, data and compliance. So as an organization who works closely with the city, with um, city planners, it is important to comply to their standards. And compliance is one of the big issues that you seek to maintain. In addition to this, you have a lot of data that is around. And because of the different types of storage facilities, such as the laptops, the desktops, and cell phones, data security is a large issue. And also sensitive information. So if a laptop is lost, what happens to this information? Will it also be secure, or will you be able to um, block it remotely? Social engineering is an issue that is growing that we wanted to bring up. Social engineering is where phishing, where a type of phishing where emails are sent to employees by hackers, pretending to be an official site, and thus with the motive of acquiring um, confidential information. So this could look like you receive an email, and it says, oh, you need to input your uh, credentials again in order to access your account because it might have been blocked. And so an employee thinking that this is official will enter their account details and as a result the hackers will gain access to confidential information. So it is necessary to secure company information through clear guidelines and processes in place. Lastly, response to market. So as you have experienced with Tivoli Gardens, a response to market would take around two months to be able to effectively move all your processes around and this will cost you a lot of money. 24 qualified buyers for your project of Tivoli Market were not part of your target market. They were families and not young professionals as you envisioned. And so you lack a current process enabling a response. So overall this lack of 
process will increase project uncertainty and project risk and uh, increase your costs overall. So as summing up here, your internal connectivity through inefficient processes and not supporting technology has not enabled you to become a responder. But enabling these things will allow you to respond quickly to the market changes. So moving forward, we, identified a, we want to identify a solution that will best suit your needs for this. And we have created, um, chosen three decision criteria to evaluate the alternatives. Number one, data management. So the solution will enable your data to be secure, keeping in protocol with the security standards and compliance um, from the city. Second, user compatibility. So as you mentioned, users were not keen on using the previous system. And so the current system will need to be integrated with the processes that employees within your company currently have. So in, integrated with emails, with um, all the systems and be easy to use. And lastly, project management support. So this, we do not want to, the solution to reinvent the process, but to support the current processes. Which leads us to our alternatives of easy projects, which was your previous, uh, previous system. And it was, although data management was secure, uh, user, user um, compatibility was low, as well as project management support. A solution that we are envisioning is Igloo. Igloo has high data management, it is very secure, as well as allows um, users to be able to use it very well due to it being a modern um, system and will have a medium level of project management support. There were other solutions such as um, other solutions which we consider as well, which also have high data management, high security, high project, um, medium <coughs> project management support, but low user um, compatibility. And out of these three solutions, we will decide to go with Igloo. And now I'll pass the floor to Graham, who will unpack our solution. So before we get on to how we're going to get you there, I'd like to speak for a moment about the ideal situation. What is our destination here? And that's one in which scalable processes that secure your data allow you to be, have a responsive business model. So as Swapping mentioned, we're dealing very much with project management, data and compliance, and being able to respond to those market signals. And what we're recommending is what we're calling Quest Connect. So that involves upgrading the project management processes and software, creating a comprehensive data security strategy, as well as increasing the company's uh, responsive capabilities. So the first portion of this, as I mentioned, is the software and processes, which really boils down to those two areas. So the first portion is upgrading from the current Easy Project software into the Igloo software. So Igloo comes with what's called a, collabor a collaboration suite. So that allows all project and company information to be stored in the same central area. And the second portion of this is tighter process controls. So ensuring that there are no workarounds and that the entire company is using the best practices that you've identified. So here's how this process is really going to look. So here we have person A and person B. So the first use case here is that person A is talking to person B about a project that the company is working on. So they're using an instant messaging function. And person A is asking person B, hey, did the client get back about that signed contract? And person B says, yes, they did. And here is the signed contract. And now instead of, say, sending an email with that file that will get saved in a folder somewhere, they're going to upload it into the Igloo system there and send a link to it. And it's going to be stored there and accessible easily. Now another use case is say, person A is the project manager. They're uploading their Gantt charts, their financial information, their documents. And person B working on that project is able to go into the Igloo system and see these easily. So these upgrades really come with a lot of benefits. The first of which is that it allows for the scalability of the business. Information is stored in one place, which will become incredibly significant once the company moves on to having five and six projects. They won't be spending time, the problem of spending time looking for documents won't be compounded to that factor. And the other benefit is that it allows for new employee onboarding. You mentioned us that you're contracting a general manager. With these 
processes and software, they'll be able to quickly come up to date with what the company is working on. The second key benefit from this is that it improves the company's bottom line. As I mentioned earlier, it eliminates that five day um, per year per employee waiting period where they're looking for the latest email, they're looking for the latest version of the document. And it also improves the bottom line by securing the data. And I'll touch on that in a moment. So what we're recommending for setting up Igloo is first to utilize an onboarding consultant. So this person will be uh, experienced with document extraction, so getting all the company's current documents into that system, as well as being responsible for employee training, getting employees onboarded with this system. And in the long term, hiring an IT support firm. So a key tenant of the of Quest Design moving forward is going to be having that support when using their information technology. So this form would be uh, confident in using Igloo as well as um, experience in data security and management. And using that external firm allows uh, your IT support to float between competencies. They're not just working with salespeople, they're not just working with developers, they're working for the whole company. So the next portion of this is of, of uh, Quest Connect is data security and strategy. So with data security, it's really important to look at your processes as a castle, and that data is that gold inside that castle. As Ping mentioned earlier, right now employees are walking out with it, just in their hand. They've got data on personal devices, laptops, cell phones. Anyone can essentially just walk into your castle and take that. What you're going to want to do is have a system where employees know how to walk around with it, where you can get that drawbridge up and not let anyone talk their way into the system. So this really starts with putting all that data in one place and also training employees on that social engineering, that phishing, how people are going to try and talk their way into the castle and security. So for this, we're recommending that you utilize that IT firm to train your employees and get them up to speed. And the last point of that is really a policy for when employees lose their hardware or when they feel that data might be lost. They need to know that they need to alert IT. They need to alert management about these. So the significance of strategy, I think, can't really be overlooked of security rep. The first portion is that it lessens corporate liability. The history of companies dealing with significant and sensitive data uh, tells us that there have been many companies that have been ruined by allowing their data to become insecure. The landscape of the businesses such as yours that deal with sensitive documents, sensitive contracts, is littered with companies like this. And it's essential that Quest doesn't end up on that landscape. And it also ensures that company data remains confidential. So the information stored in that contract, your costs, your margins, don't become public information through some sort of leap, and it allows your company to maintain that competitive advantage. So how you really can enhance data security at Quest is by creating a culture of security. So employees have to know the consequences of data loss and data insecurity, as well as make it a priority. So that's really, as I mentioned, where the training from that IT firm comes in. And if I could impress one thing about data security, it would be that an educated workforce is the greatest defense mechanism against losing insensitive sensitive information. So the point we touched on earlier was about ensuring that Quest is uh, a very responsive business model. So it's important that you think of your business there as a Formula One race car. What are they? They're fast, but they're also movable. When they need to swerve, they can swerve. Your company right now, you're tied to two very, very variable uh, influences. One being City Hall, and the other being the real estate market. You highlight to us an example where 24 qualified buyers came in and who are outside your current target market, and that required a shift in project scope in order to capitalize on that potential profitability. These uh, processes and software would allow you to capitalize on that. Or say a situation where a new mayor comes into City Hall and they have different planning uh, vision for the city and you need to change the way you do business, the company needs to be responsive. So to leave you with one note on this, it's that the software is what allows the processes to be efficient and effective. And it's these processes 
that allow your employees to respond to those changes from your stakeholders, and that it's this change, this response, that allows the company to be profitable and maximize its revenue. And I'll let my colleague Zach talk a little bit about how we're going to implement this program. Thanks. So you will need to implement three major stages to your Igloo software as well as the new processes. The first is acquiring Igloo. They are a software as a service provider, so it will be simple and fairly easy to uh, negotiate with them and subscribe to their uh, services. But because you are busy, because you have the uh, new projects timeline, new project scope, you will not be able to vote, devote a ton of time to this initially. So that's why over the next two months, you will need to negotiate with them, sign a contract, and then distribute your accounts. As you are nearing the contract signing, you will need to start looking for an onboarding consultant, an onboarding contractor. What this is going to do is provide you with a way to allow your employees to focus on their work as their documents are being uploaded. Instead of having to find all of their documents and upload them, this consultant or contractor will be able to contact them, ask for what is needed, and then upload it for them so that they can focus on what they do best and the consultants can do what they do best as well. And finally, um, I'd also like to highlight the star, the second star, was the gathering and uploading documents. You need to prioritize here the current project documents. You should not start with old projects as that's not currently relevant. Get what you currently need so you can start using it, and then from there allow the consultants to go back in time so that you have that full repository of knowledge. Um, and then finally, contracting the IT firm for support. You'll need to do a fair bit of research in this as there's many variables with an IT support firm. But it is going to need to be a firm, which I'll touch on in a moment, that is there 24 hours a day and that can support your users as they have questions, but is not an IT employee who is there all of the time. Because as a company of 25, you are not going to need a full-time 40-hour week IT support for one project management software, but rather variable support as you need it. So for the two quali for qualifications of the two contractors, the onboarding consultant. It's going to be, they're going to need to be experienced, they're going to have, need to have an established reputation, and they're going to need to be certified in areas of security as this is a concern for you. Similarly, with the IT support firm, you need a firm that does currently support Igloo, who has experience with it, so that they're not learning as they're helping you, because that would be frustrating for your employees. And you're going to need 24-hour service as, alongside that security certification. There's two exciting future opportunities with this Igloo software that you will be able to use to improve your business. The first is identifying pain points. With all of your timelines and Gantt charts in one place, you'll be able to identify which takes a long time, which portion of our development projects do we need to start early because there's roadblocks with the city or with outside contractors. So you can understand that and improve moving forward because currently you have no way of even accessing that information. Secondly, scaling the business. You want to hire a new general contractor to manage your development projects. Right now, with the timelines spread out, it's going to be very difficult for them to onboard and ramp up. So and having everything centralized will enable them to quickly ramp up and quickly provide value for your business. Change management. Two key stakeholders you have are your customers and your employees. Customers, they're not concerned with how they manage your projects. They're the market that you need to supply and to address as they show demand. But your employees, they have demonstrated <coughs> that they do not like to change their current processes. So there's two key parts to this. First, you need to communicate that your company needs to shift to meet market and give them that desire to change so that they can help you and help themselves as a company improve and meet market demand. Once they have that desire, you need to provide them training and documentation so that they can use this new system to improve your processes. Quickly going over costs, all of our estimates are conservative. We uh, broke them down each by one. There's year one costs and ongoing costs. Clearly year one is going to be more expensive as you have that onboarding project and training. But from there, the cost drops significantly, providing you with room to realize the benefits that it's going to provide, which, simply speaking, Five days a year for 25 employees equals at least $30,000 a year saved. And as you grow, as you gather more employees, that number is only going to rise. And then risks and mitigation. The biggest risk will be your employee resistance. 
they're busy, they don't want to learn a new system. That's why you need to provide them the tools to succeed. So overall, your current situation of the inefficient processes and the lack of um, reactivity. Addressing the three key challenges through our recommendation of Quest Connect will allow you to achieve excellence by connecting your employees internally, as well as connecting Quest, your company, to the market as well, being able to react to any market changes through technology. Thank you for listening, and we would now like to open the floor to any questions. Thank you. You have five minutes. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, given the current problems we've had with uh, collaboration and communication and uh, the imminent start of the, the Tivoli phase, if I understood the um, presentation, we'd be in the uh, acquisition of Igloo at the time the Tivoli build starts. Can you walk me through how we would uh, kick off the Tivoli build while we're doing that implementation? So the Tivoli build needs to start right away as you need to meet that market demand. And Igloo, it's a two-part phase. You, one, need to meet the changing demand currently and be set up to meet the demand in the future, which is why we're recommending bringing in those onboarding consultants so that they can do the majority of the work for you and just provide a one-day training session for your employees to understand how to use this new system, which is not drastically changing how they use Excel files or Word documents, but just where they store it so it's all in one place and easily accessible for new employees and themselves. Thank you. Just wondering if there was any Yes, we've considered that. However, as mentioned, the benefits of reducing um, uploads, reducing looking for files, is mentioned, is only thirty thousand dollars. And this, the cost of hiring a full-time employee, does not offset the benefits. So coming to the Igloo decision, have you done any comparative analysis with the other assessed uh, systems that we have provided? Yes, we have. And what we saw with Igloo was that it was a system which met, our, met your needs in terms of cost and met your needs in terms of service offered, whereas other systems were either too expensive or weren't easy to use. Um, the drawback we did find in Igloo was that it had light project management um, support, but we determined that, uh, that this was far away by the benefits. I'd like to add to that also that we didn't want to change how project managers do their work. We just wanted to support them where Igloo combines everything, <coughs> not disperses it everywhere. And Thank you. Um, you guys weren't able to touch on your risk and mitigation that much, so you might have covered it if we got to it. But um, what, uh, what are you doing to mitigate the risk of relapse in terms of not adopting Igloo? So essentially what that boils down to is top-down support from management. So um, there needs to be a culture in place that doesn't look for workarounds and doesn't look at um, unacceptable project management processes. So one that really uh, enforces using that proper system. Okay. I'll follow up on that. Culture can be kind of tough to change. And I know, you know it's very important not to allow workarounds. Is there any sort of specific recommendations you might have on I think it really comes down to the all hands meeting where you communicate to your employees the current situation you're in, where you need to adapt so that you can survive. The market is not what you expected, so you need to change now so that you can do that. I got one more if we have time. Uh, so, Igloo, you commented that it has light PM features and um, Looking at some of the tasks that you need to work through, specifically around the regulatory pieces, can be quite complex. So, do you see a gap there? And if not, you know, how will you address those more complex aspects of project management in the system? So, that's where, um, during our analysis of your software needs, we saw that uh, Quest currently has project managers who are extremely capable. They're just working on their own systems. As Zach mentioned, we don't want to change how those systems work. We just want to change how they're stored. Um, so essentially where the compliance factor of that comes in is allowing project managers the freedom to work how they'd like to work within the current system, as long as the storage of the data and the safety of the data complies to regulatory standards. 